welcome to the lawn. Um, yeah, what you're seeing here is uh, probably about 200 square meters of Santa Ana Cooch. Uh, it's known as Bermuda grass in the States, I believe. And as you can see, the lawn's in pretty poor condition. Uh, hasn't had much love for many years, I'd imagine. Um, we've only recently been into this house and are starting to look after the gardens. We've been out in the front mainly, and now it's time to tackle this. The soil structure on the lawns is pretty bad. Um, I'm going to go through some products from Plant Doctor to hopefully improve that, just to get some organic matter back into the soil and some uh, carbon and humic acids, things like that, to get it going. But I have to be careful because those dogs there, they'll, uh, if it's you know anything like dynamic lifter or anything smelly, they'll be digging holes, which is the last thing, the last thing I want. Um, yeah, it's pretty dry climate here. Um, typically about 11 inches a year of rain. Recently it's been pretty dry with um, six inches. But the ultimate goal is to is to mow this lawn with a cylinder mower. Um, this big old 30 inch queen that I've got. Hopefully uh, I can get that up and running and get the lawn level enough to get out there. What I'm sort of dealing with here in the summer is going to be um, 40 degrees, high 40s in the summer and pretty cold frosts in the in the winter so there's a lot to deal with and a lot to prepare for but it's all going to be you know relatively fun. Yeah this is the um, this is the quality of the grass we're looking at as you can see there's some santorana in there somewhere uh, a lot of weeds uh, that's some power winter grass I've had a couple of applications of a herbicide called power check which I'll just put up on the screen here. It's um, about a hundred bucks for that, but you use 15 mils per hundred square meter is very effective. Um, I'm liking that so far. It's safe on cooch, not kaikuya. This is some bindi grass, just some broadleaf. That's been treated with a product called Ravage by a parent. Uh, the active ingredient in this here is uh, dicamba. It's very effective and, and again, pretty cheap. Um, there's also been some relatively large areas of um, dieback through winter when this went dormant. There's a lot of uh, bare patches, um, mainly because I did hit this with some some Roundup uh, glyphosate 360, I think it is, in, throughout the winter, just to try and get it to um, kill some of the weeds that the that ravage wasn't attacking. I just rather than find a selective herbicide for them, I just blasted them with the with the glyphosate. Um, so that that explains a lot of the bare patches. Um, some of them are because of these dogs. They dig the holes and there's some trenches from putting in irrigation. Yeah, that's that's the glyphosate there. Relatively cheap. You can get it anywhere. Just be careful with it. Uh, the area does get mowed just with a cylinder, a, a rotary mower at the moment, just because it's pretty uneven. Um, hopefully that's soon to change. Uh, oh, another thing I did do uh, just before the soil temps came up was apply a pre-emergent to the area. Uh, this one here called Embargo by New Turf, I think it is. A little bit expensive and you use a bit of it per 100 squares, but it's uh, very effective so far. I'm really happy with it. I've um, only got a few uh, broadleaf weeds popping up, which has been which has been excellent because it just cuts down the amount of time you need to be out there spraying and with the dogs and the family. Um, obviously, it's ideal to be spraying less less often if you can. Uh, the plan out here, well, as I said, is to get this whole area covered in um, cooch and. Yeah, these things here, these dogs, they'll do anything they can, I think, to stop me. Um, but you got to love them, so. It's as much for them as it is for me and the family to have this lawn looking good. Uh, they enjoy it, they love it out here and run around and, and have a great time. So as I said, um, it's been about a year with no love since we moved in. Not a whole lot has been happening. 
Um, I've been focusing on the front. And I just, yeah, as you can see, look at this stump here. Uh, it's pulling the ground up with it, very uneven. Um, we'll, I'm gonna try and get rid of that. I'm thinking I might burn it out and then just have to dig out what's left. Um, oh, I don't have any turf qualifications. I'm just an average, uh, average bloke. And I just want to show people what you can start with here. It doesn't have to be good. You don't have to go instant roll out turf or pay to have um, big money to have people come in and do it all for you. You don't have to completely start again. A lot of lawns have a decent base and with these warm season grasses like Santorana or Cooch, they do spread pretty rapidly. So yeah, it's not all lost. And I just, I really want people to be encouraged to just to get out there and get stuck into the lawn. It's something that I really enjoy. I think it, it helps a lot with your mental health, just getting out there and being outside and working physically. And you do get a, you get a visual reward from the garden, so. Um, I do want to, I want people just to be encouraged by what they can see here on this channel and know that with no qualifications, just a bit of internet knowledge and following some good people that know what they're talking about, um, you can really have a red hot crack at it. So yeah, subscribe and join if you want to see this lawn turn into something nice. Um, I have had a reasonable crack at the front yard in the first 12 months that we were here uh, and I'm reasonably happy with the, with the progress that we've got from that. I'll, I'll put up some, some photos of what were there because I didn't film anything. Uh, but yeah, that's Santorana as well, a mixture of Santorana and some sort of fine bladed fescue, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. So when we first moved in uh, to this house here, this was the front yard. Uh, again, no love, very overgrown with, with weeds. That bit of green you can see on the lawn is clover. But we gave it a scarify, fertilizers, regular mowing, and it took off pretty well. And then throughout summer, I started to get um, some reasonable growth, as you can see, um, just with the rotary mower. And then this started to happen. And I was watering and fertilizing and mowing regularly, and I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't seem to find out what was happening. So my wife told me to dig a hole in the lawn, which I didn't want to do, but Bang, uh, lawn beetles. That's the, the larvae from the African black beetle. So we treated that, and you can see a bit of the top um, top left corner there, some damage, but it's it, we slowly got rid of them. And throughout this spring, it's been uh, groomed, scalped, and uh, top dressed again, just in an effort to make it a bit more level to get it to, to be easy to mow with the sill and the mower. And I've also poisoned out a bit of um, other grasses that were in there. So that's about where it was after about a month. Uh, it's still reasonably cold here, it hasn't come back quite quite perfectly yet, but I'll show you some footage of sort of what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's relatively, relatively level. The concrete's not 100% level, but it does look reasonably good. I'm pretty happy with that, considering you know what that photo was what that we started with. Um, I had to redo some edging and uh, yeah, it, obviously this is a work in progress as well, and I don't know if you ever get to that mythical 100% um, lawn. Everyone, is, that's one thing I think to remember is your lawn's never going to be perfect. So just um, just when you think you've got it on top of it, something will happen. And but I, in, in, in the end, I think that's good. You can you can keep working, and it's fun. So yeah, like I said, just um, follow along and. If you do want to see see the journey and hopefully the back lawn here, um, the back lawn can look a bit like this front lawn. It shouldn't take too long. It will need a bit of leveling and the dogs do slow things down. So yeah, if you are, um, this is obviously an Australian lawn, Santorana Cooch, um, Bermuda grass it's also known as. Two puppers? Yeah, enjoy. They love digging holes. <laughs> 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 